coming together with a lot of creators from Kin Community for a wedding shower registry collaboration. So if you are engaged, I am here to convince you to put a blender on your registry. But don't go anywhere if you're not married, like me. You still gotta eat, right? Why not use your blender? And no, we are not making smoothies. We are making a three course meal blender style. And after you watch this video, at the end, be sure to click the thumbnail so that you can see all of the other creators' ideas for their different appliances. Now, I'm not married, so I can't really give any marriage advice, but I will say this. Fellas, if you ever do offend her, go on out and buy her a blender. Eh? First up, a delicious appetizer, gazpacho with a twist. This is a sweet and savory watermelon gazpacho. In your blender, add chopped watermelon, tomato, cucumber, fresh mint, fresh basil, and salt and pep. Blend it on up. And all of the recipes I'm sharing with you today do not need a heavy duty blender, any regular blender will work. Pour your mixture into a large mixing bowl and then add some finely diced watermelon, tomato, cucumber, red bell pepper, and red onion. Mix to combine. Now you could just blend all of these things up for a super smooth final product, but I like the texture of the finely diced chuck, so I'm keeping them. Refrigerate for a few hours and serve cold. And this is really best when you let it sit overnight so all of those flavors can come together. This dish is just perfect for summer. On to the main course, blender quiche. And to keep it lighter, we are going crustless. Booyah! Thumbs up for low fat, low carb, and low calorie meals. Spray down a large pan over medium heat. Add spinach, chopped broccoli, mushrooms, and onion, or whatever veggies you prefer really, you really can't go wrong with a quiche. Saute until the spinach is wilted and the vegetables have cooked about five minutes. And don't forget to add a little salt for seasoning. Look at those bright, vibrant, and beautiful vegetables. Lastly, add in a little bit of chopped fresh basil, or your favorite herb, and lightly stir it in to integrate. It should become very fragrant almost immediately. Now for the blender part. You're gonna start with two eggs and some egg whites, or as I have used, some egg yellows, which are just egg whites that have been colored yellow. They have the exact same macronutrients as egg whites, but the eyes can fool the mind, and some people don't like eating white eggs. We have some cashew milk, or milk of choice, for creaminess, Dijon mustard, garlic powder, and salt and pep. Blend it on up. Next, you're gonna wanna spray down your tart or quiche pan, but beware, a pan with a removable bottom will not work because this is a crustless quiche. Thus, there is no crust to keep the liquid inside of the pan, if you know what I mean. Add in your sauteed veggies into the quiche pan and then add your egg mixture on top. Mix everything up to make sure it is distributed evenly. Lastly, we are going to add in a few bits of goat cheese or your favorite cheese on top because this is gonna be your flavor punch of the dish. You don't have to make it perfect, I prefer it a little rustic. Bake in an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. It will rise, but as it cools, it will deflate. Allow to cool for 15 to 20 minutes before slicing and devouring. This crustless quiche is so light and healthy, it is perfect for any meal of the day, and it's good warm or cold. After appetizer and entree come the very best part, dessert. My very delicious mini cheese tarts. <laughs> and possibly my favorite recipe of recent times. If you are enjoying these blender meals, be sure to subscribe for more recipes every single week. Now this is a double blender recipe, a blender recipe, because we are going to make both the crust and the filling in the blender. Start with your almond flour. So yes, this is a gluten-free crust. Apple jelly, which helps you cut down on the amount of oil you need. A little bit of coconut oil. And honey for sweetness. Blend it on up. You will probably want to stop and scrape down the sides about halfway through to make sure everything gets mixed in. And as you can see, you have a perfect tart crust dough, and it is so tasty. Today I am using a pan for making mini tarts, and they do not have removable bottoms. I did try this recipe with these slightly bigger tart pans that do have removable bottoms, and it works just fine. But I wanted to make these babies as many as possible because the base is almond flour, so even though it is gluten-free and it is healthy, it's a little bit higher in fat. Not bad fat, but we want it in moderation. 
And my favorite way to combat that is with portion control and size. Go ahead and spray down your tart pan. Press a ball of the crust dough down into the bottom, making a nice thin layer that completely covers the tart. Repeat for all of your tartlets. Bake in an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about six to 10 minutes until the edges begin to brown. Once baked, set aside and allow to cool. For the filling, we are starting with some cream cheese, or I'm using lower fat Neufchatel cheese, Greek yogurt, stevia, coconut flour to thicken, and salt. For the last time, blend it on up. Spoon your cream cheese mixture into your cooled tarts and spread it out evenly. Once you've filled your tarts, you can top with your fruit of choice. Today I am using strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries, but you can use whatever you'd like. Refrigerate for a few hours and allow them to totally set, and then serve them cold after dinner. I hope you enjoyed these blender recipes, an appetizer, entree, and dessert to keep you going and your blender blended. There is a PDF download with all of these recipes available right here or in the description box below for my mobile friends, and the nutrition is included, and those are also available on mindovermunch.com. If you have a favorite blender meal that you would like to share, please leave it in the comments below. Remember, a blender is much more versatile than you'd think, and you should add it to your registry, or just buy it for yourself. Now the time has come for you to go and see all of the other amazing videos from the Kin Creators. I hope you enjoy, I will see you on Monday, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch. That's all I got. <laughs>